If an error occurs, it is very important to have an overview of the devices in the plant network. In the following example, I will show you how you can obtain this network overview with the help of Cinema Server, a network monitoring software from Siemens. First of all, I will show you the standard topology view, and then follow this by showing you which information can be displayed in the standard topology views. Finally, I will show you how you can configure and structure customized plant-specific views with the Cinema server. I am changing now to the topology view and initially see the current topology, the so-called discovered topology. This is where the actual status of the network is displayed. This means you see which devices have been found on the network and how the individual devices are connected to each other. Another standard topology view is the monitoring topology view. The monitoring topology view allows you to see the status of the current network topology compared to a reference topology. The reference topology is a topology which one creates once during the initial commissioning of Cinema Server. The reference topology shows the so-called target or reference status of the device connections in the network. I will now change to the monitoring topology. First of all, I see an overview of the port connections of the individual devices. This means I see the devices and I see which ports of these devices are connected to other devices. There is a separate level for every port connection. What I can recognize very nicely here is the status of each port connection, which ports are actually connected and which are vacant. However, I can also see whether we are dealing here with a wireless connection, as seen here between the access point and the client, or, as shown here in blue, a redundant connection. What I cannot see in this view is that we are dealing with a redundant ring. I can visualize redundant rings and or other network structures far easier in the following representation, the so-called icon view. In the left-hand side of the icon view, you can see that we are dealing here with a redundant ring. Here in blue you can see the passive connection, and there you see a star structure. Here on the right you can see the linear structure with a wireless connection. I can highlight or visualize various properties in the views, such as which devices belong to which wireless LANs, like these devices shown in blue. The standard topology views have a standard layout and cannot be altered by the user. In order to customize views for your particular requirements, you can use the user-specific views. Here, in this example, I have created a user-specific view of the demo cases. Initially, you see a list of all devices that are present in this view. By selecting Topology, you get a graphical view of these devices. In this graphical view, you can see clearly that I have inserted a background picture. The background picture displays the plant, and I have placed the two demo cases in the picture together with the connection between the two cases. I also see the status of lower-level devices, namely in this example I see that they are all OK. If I want to know which devices are in case 1, I simply select case 1 and move to the next level view with the detailed information. Again, here we see the redundant ring with the passive connection in blue. However, the micro box is missing from this overview. No problem. I can easily add this by editing the view. Here I can see which devices I can insert in the view. For example, the Cinema server. I insert it on the right-hand side and then save everything. I now deactivate the view, 
and see here on the left that I can now pull the Cinema server into the view. I can place this Cinema server wherever I want and draw the connection so that there is no overlapping. That's it. Now I just have to save it and activate this view for monitoring. Now you have seen how easily you can create a user-specific or customized view. That was just a simple example. But imagine you have a large network with 100, 200 or even 500 devices. Devices which can change during operation. Even in such large networks, you can maintain the upper hand at all times thanks to Cinema Server. Thank you.